dear friends today we are going to discuss about formation of spray in the last video we discuss about the nozzle and the different types of the nozzle we come to know there are the different types of the nozzle like single hole multi hole pintle and pintle now in every cases we discuss as the fuel is injected inside the engine cylinder through the injector nozzle it comes in the form of a spray okay so these are the different peaks of the spray which will come out the engine cylinder okay the liquid fuel in the form of a spray it will come like this one through the different types of the injector nozzle itself in the case of multi hole nozzle the spray pattern will be different in the case of the single hole nozzle the cone spray angle will be different again in the case of pintle nozzle it will be different and again in the case of pintock nozzle it will be different so with the help of this diagram we can understand how the amount of fuel will injected inside the engine cylinder which will come out in the form of a spray through the injector nozzle okay so again there is a very important thing to study of how this particular spray will form so there are few successive phases of the formation of a spray how this particular spray liquid fuel will come out in the form of a spray how it will be formed this question is again very important so in this video we are going to discuss the different successive phases of formation of the spray so here we have the different phases of formation of spray first phase is phase 1 or phase a this is the second phase phase b this is the third phase phase c phase d phase e and phase f so these the six are the successive phases of formation of spray means whenever the amount of fuel come out from the nozzle in the form of a spray it will never become the final whatever things we are looking from our eyes it will not in the form of a spray initially it has a few stages it has a few successive phases unless and until completion of that phases the nozzle never produce that particular spray so here we are going to discuss the successive phases of the formation of a spray by the nozzle itself so one by one here we are going to understand so we know when the fuel forced through the nozzle hole under high pressure it is disintegrated into the fine droplets so why it is happen it is only happen because already the aerodynamic resistance of the dense air which present in the combustion chamber so we know inside the combustion chamber the hot air is always present and because of that aerodynamic resistance of the dense air whatever fuel which is forced through the nozzle hole under high pressure it is disintegrated into a very fine droplets okay so the combustion chamber pressure at the time of injection which is about 25 bar to about 35 bar and the density would be 12 well to 14 times of that ambient air okay so there are the different phases of spray formation as fuel is injected through the nozzle as shown in these particular figures itself so as we just discussed phase 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 these are the different phases of formation of spray one by one here we are going to discuss so at the start of fuel injection the pressure difference across the orifices is very low and the single droplets are formed as shown in figure a so if you see in the figure a the initially the pressure difference across the orifices nozzle orifices is very low and because of that the initially the fuel will come in the form of the liquid droplets like this okay so after some period of time it's very minute period of time as the pressure decreases or the pressure difference increases the 
processes occurs one after the other okay so in this case initially the single droplets are formed as shown in the figure a as we just discussed but as the time goes the different processes occurs one after the other and the pressure difference increases okay so what will be the different phases the next phases will happen because of the increment in the pressure differences okay so in the second phase that is phase b so if you see if you observe the diagram a and diagram b initially the liquid droplets like this through that particular injector nozzle the amount of fuel will come like these droplets of the fuel but in the figure b here we can understand now as the pressure difference increases now we are getting the stream of the fuel like this one okay and then after the droplets will come out like this one but initially there are the stream of the fuel like this and it has some length l1 we can consider okay so here we can understand the stream of a fuel emerges from the nozzle as shown in the figure b so initially the form of the fuel is just like a liquid droplet but here after some time after some minute period of time because of the pressure difference increases the stream of the fuel emerges from the nozzle like this one so this is the second successive phase of the formation of fuel and this is present in this particular diagram like this so after this one the stream encounter the aerodynamic resistance from the dense air which present in the combustion chamber and breaks into a spray say at a distance of l3 as shown in figure c and the distance of this point where this event occurs from the orifice is called the break up distance so what happened after this here after successive phase 1 what will happen as the fuel stream emerges from the nozzle it has some length l1 let us consider and after this one because of the aerodynamic dense air which is present inside the combustion chamber it produce some kind of a resistance and this stream will be break like this one into a liquid droplets like this one but again after some period of time again the pressure difference increases the more stream which is emerges from the nozzle now initially it was l1 now it would from l2 like this one again because of the dense air it will after the distance l3 or the length l3 it will again in the form of the fuel droplets so which is a present in the third successive phase that is in figure c and the distance where this event occur now in this case from this particular nozzle and this event occurs up to l2 distance this is nothing but called as a break up distance so up to this l2 the fuel stream is emerges from the nozzle but because of the aerodynamic dense air which is present inside the combustion chamber now it will again breaks into the droplets so this distance l2 is nothing but called as a break up distance which is given over here and this is or this would be the third successive phase c itself sometime if the event occurs more than that l2 distance or above the l2 distance or we can say after l2 distance that is nothing but called as the l3 the distance between this particular nozzle and the event occurs event occurs means what the break up will be occurs because of the aerodynamic dense air this l3 is in this case is called as a break up or distance okay so l2 is one break up distance and l3 is another break up distance where the event of break up will be happen inside that particular engine cylinder because of the nozzle spray inside the engine cylinder okay so after this one the next phase of the formation of spray is the phase d 
now here we can observe a difference in the diagram c and d so what is this okay so this particular figure d represents what with further and further increase in the pressure difference the break up distance now decreases and the conical angle increases until the apex of cone practically coincides the orifice now in this case again the pressure difference increases now this break up distance decreases so initially the break up distance is l1 then l2 then l3 now in this diagram again as the pressure difference is more it will increase the break up distance now decreases l2 is equal to l3 sometimes now in this case l2 and l3 both are different l3 is greater than l2 so after some time the l2 is equal to l3 so both uh, become same and again it will be decreases like this one and the substance of the spray in the form of this one it would be a rectangular then the spherical and some square shape like the different elements of the fill in the form of a spray will come out from the nozzle like this one and this will happen until and unless the spray will meet to the apex of the cone so if you see in the successive phase e here you can understand this diagram is different one and this diagram is different one now the stream of the fuel which is emerges from the nozzle now it becomes to reach one point and that is nothing but called as the the final point this is nothing but called as the apex of the cone and finally whatever fuel which is coming from the nozzle it is in the form a conical spray form so these all are the different successive phases of the formation of spray initially from the small fine liquid droplets now it will come out in the form of a spray so dear friend this is a very fast process it is not visible to naked eye we have to use some instrument to understand this particular formation of spray to visualize this particular things we have to use some digital devices then after we can understand this particular different phases of formation of spray so i hope you understood this particular different phases of uh, formation of spray itself okay so again in this case we have to understand one formula and this is the formula of v sub x f so what about this v sub x f is equal to c sub x d under root of 2 in bracket p injector minus p cylinder divided by rho f so what about this v f so at the exit of the orifice the fuel jet velocity this v sub x f represent the fuel jet velocity is of the order of 400 meter per second and it is given in above equation so let us consider at the exit of the every orifice of the injector the fuel jet velocity that is vf is to be considered near about 400 meter per second and it is always given by the above equation where this uh, particular cd is a coefficient of discharge of orifice p sub x i n j is nothing but fuel pressure at the inlet of injector in newton per meter square then p sub x c y l that is nothing but the cylinder pressure or the pressure of the charge inside the cylinder and this rho sub x f is nothing but the fuel density in kg per meter cube so in this case this formula is very important to get the answer of the v sub x f sometime the v sub x f is known then with the help of this formula we can calculate the remaining things so this formula is again very essential to solve the different numericals on the injector so i hope you understood well the different phases of formation of spray so thanks a lot for watching this video thank you so much